like a, like a, a mini residency. All the knowledge uh, in, in, was compact in four days. And I feel very confident for the next week, see my patients and offer advanced procedures like a, a guy in bone regeneration. And also to teach my students, always ask me where to go. Uh, uh, now I'm going to start the implant dentist. So where should I have a proper training? We fall into place. Using xenographic materials, which I have not been using in the past, and going over the, the logic on why we're using them. And just that's just one specific material type. But then to be able to build more uh, of horizontal and vertical bone in using different grafts and, and different membranes to do so, I think was presented in such a straightforward fashion that as long as you have the knowledge beforehand of what you're doing and why, um, now that I've seen it done, I've tried it on models, I think I should be able to do it without, without the, that much difficulty. I definitely want to start placing the uh, soft tissue grafts and performing GBR procedures. Uh, this is not my first time being exposed to the GBR topic and techniques. I, I did do a one-year continuum at Loma Linda, but Dr. Sasha has been very meticulous about explaining the topic and again it's the size of the class actually that helped me have confidence because of the uh, uh, more personal connection with the staff and just having a lot of time with the materials. I've been to so many courses where they just strip off the bone, place implants, but it's about the numbers, it's about how many implants are you doing. Oh, you're going fast and arches in a day and teeth in a day. I think the difference that I saw with Dr. Sasha is how he is considering that patient, if I see this patient over 20 years, what's going to happen? And that's what I want for my patients. Like if I see these patients today, I do these cases. And then I, I tell all my patients, I don't want to see my cases failing. Maybe my kids will treat that, that's fine, but I don't want to see my cases failing when I'm there. Um, and then I think that was the big thing that I really admired about him, is that he's talking about the success rates 20 years down the line. Not like you do the case today and okay, I'll see what happens in the future. So that, that was a big thing. And I think that's the thing that impressed me the most about his you know, techniques and everything that he does for it. And that's what I was looking for.